Alright, so this is how my air filter box works here. Here's my can in. It's not ready to go back on, I just cleaned it. Slides over this pipe here, and it goes, that's what it attaches to the carburetor. And I glued and silicone that all up. So basically the filter just goes on there, tighten it on there. And here's my box. And that's where the um, snorkels hook on, one here and one here. And this part actually screws on and off too. Got it on there pretty tight, but that'll screw on and off there. And then you can see inside there how it looks. And then that, once the filter's tight on there, then you just put it back on here and screw it back together. And as you can see, then it goes right into the filter there on both sides. So then both sides get filtered good. But yeah, pretty good. It's just a coupler piece and the two screw on pieces. And it housed the filter pretty good. Took it out, it ran fine, came back, bone dry inside, took it through some mud. I'll probably put the video on there. But yeah, that's how it works. Alright, here's the snorkel I built for my 185. I've got a KN filter inside here and it threads in and out to clean the filter. It's attached up to the carburetor. Bored a hole in the side here to come out for my one snorkel. This tube right here is for my crankcase. Got that all ran up. Comes up the side here, secured with these big zip ties. I got the second snorkel. Over here, this is the carburetor vent. Runs down here. So bored to the side here. The KN filter sits about to right here, so it's sucking right from the sides of the KN. And I just had to make some pipes with some reducers to fit to the inside of the KN, and got it all sealed up with. Let's see, this pipe cement. And I also use some uh, silicone, and it is absolutely airtight, watertight. Take it out here in a little while and see how it works. The back end also can slip off here. I got it wired on there. It's pretty freaking solid. It's not going to go nowhere. Hopefully it'll work. Here's the vent to the carburetor right here on the side. And I also blocked off the overflow. I put a bolt threaded it up inside there should work pretty good take it out make some videos today and see how it works after I put the fenders back on I think it looks pretty sick let me know what you guys think a little cup of it running